Hello, I'm Holly Urbane with Siler Instrument Wisconsin. I'm going to touch on a couple topics for lines, polylines, and RXL roads on the general survey map screen. If you try and pick an RXL alignment that's visible on your screen but it's not highlighting, most likely it's not active or selectable. If you go to the layer manager, you can make sure that it is active. Another really good tip is whenever you're using the map screen, always double touch somewhere away from any points. That should clear the selection. Or if you click and hold, you can hit clear selection. When you select on an RXL alignment, it is built in one direction. So you can see that blue line selected with an arrow. So this particular alignment is going from west to east. If I double click, that will unselect that alignment. If I select near this end of the alignment, it's still built going from west to east. If I click and hold somewhere, you can see I can review it, stake it out, or clear the selection. It gets a little more helpful when you're using lines and polylines. So in this area, I have both a polyline and a line. First, let's pick the polyline. If I zoom out a little, when you select a polyline, again, I'm going to double click to clear the selection. If I pick a polyline near the south end, it's going to stake it from south to north. If I click it from the north end, it's going to stake it from north to south. You can also just click and hold on the map and reverse the polyline's direction. Another handy tool is if I tap the review button, I can assign a station interval to this polyline and now this has stationing in the direction that the blue arrow was pointing. If I do the reverse direction, the stationing updates as well. Another tool for polylines is I can actually offset this polyline. Left and right depends on what direction the arrow is pointing. So if I put in a negative 15 feet, it's going to go left or east and calculate a, say, edge of pavement like we have on the screen. I can name it, code it, and store it. As you do this, the screen can get a little bit busy. So again, I'm going to double touch. If I click on that new offset polyline and review it, I can go get rid of that station interval. And now on the map screen, it's just a line. Very similar to the polyline, if I select a line feature, when I click and hold, I can change the direction, I can offset it, but there's another choice here to subdivide. An example of laying out a fence and you wanted to actually calculate fence post locations. I could say I want every 12 feet. I scroll down a little bit. I give the points that it's going to create names. I'm going to say that it's a post. I hit enter. I hit start. And now if we were to zoom in, You can see we now have points calculated every 12 feet along that line. So just a few tips for polyline lines and roads on the general survey map screen. Thanks for watching another Siler Instrument Quick Tip.